Ay. So I'm waiting for a few viewers, then I can start. I shall start now. So, uh, Assalamu alaikum. Good afternoon, everyone. Today we are here with the one of the best beautiful campus university, whose name is University of Cyberjaya, with the five star ranking university. So, with me there have uh, another uh, like uh, for a specialist MBBS, Dr. Jahid. Another one is. Uh, Head of uh, MBA program is um, Dr. Arzan, and another two marketing officer, which is uh, Siva and also Brother Nanda. So today we are going to present University of Cyberjaya. So if anyone have any question about University of Cyberjaya, please comment us, ask the questions because you will not get chance every day, any every time to get these people together because this is the chance to get your question answered. So we are here. So now I'm going to pass to uh, Dr. Jahid uh, about the. He's going to talk about the MBBS program. Hello, good afternoon, uh, I would like to uh, express my gratitude to Mr. and also Mr. Nathan. And I would like to welcome audience on behalf. So, I students see the University of Cyber for being their So, I will to share my screen. So, Oh, doctor, uh, like we cannot uh, clearly hear you. Uh, I think without headphone is it does better. Is it clear now? Uh, very very low. low. Yeah, the sound is very low. Okay. Sort it out. Okay. Mm -hmm. so now you can. Not clear. Not clear. Second. Second. Can you hear me clearly now? Now, yeah. now is better. So, okay, let me share the screen. Yeah. Uh, my screen can be seen. Yeah, now it's good. Yeah, yeah, it's better. Okay. Uh, sorry for the technical error. And we all try to adjust with the new demand, you know, with the situation of Corona. Now everything is online. So uh, I would like to give a brief uh, presentation about how University of Cyberjaya Faculty of Medicine course curriculum structure, our leadership, our different recognition, and also the partner of hospitals. Okay. So to begin with, I would like to discuss about our university profile. We established in 2005. So it means 15 years already we are, uh, you know, into the uh, education era and we have produced more than 11 batches. So at this moment, uh, almost 1,100 medical grads working all over the country in Malaysia. Right. Okay. Uh, we are a five-star university, which is uh, ranked by Ministry of Higher Education and which is a symbol of excellent quality we are providing to our students. Uh, this is the very significant part. I think many times when I've been to uh, many education expo, even parents when we meet, always seldom they ask what is our uh, world ranking. So recently we've been ranked with uh, almost 601 ranked university in the world. And that speaks about our quality our integrity and as well as our recognition. So QSTAR in uh, our world ranking, they keep emphasis on our employability, the facilities we provide to our students, inclusiveness of students and faculty, 
and as well as world class teaching uh, quality. So considering all these parameters, we've been ranked as 601 university in the world. Uh, this is a bit summary so far what we are, we are doing in last 15 years time. We have produced 1,735 foundation students. We have produced more than uh, now I think it's almost 2,000. And very importantly, we have produced uh, 222 master's and PhD students in various faculties. Okay, uh, we are not only five-star ranked university by Ministry of Higher Education. We are not only ranked our uh, 601 uh, ranked university in the world, but also we got significant recognition of our program from various regulatory body. As for example, I would like to mention we've been recognized by Medical Council of India. We also recognized by Bangladesh Medical and Dental Council, Maldives Medical Dental Council, and I think Jordan as well. I think for the parents and for students, this uh, this is very significant to know. Uh, Bangladesh Medical Council recognition is a very key factor for them when they go back after finishing their study. Uh, you know, if uh, degree and school is not recognized by BMDC, they will not able to sit for qualifying exam in Dhaka and they cannot appoint it as a houseman. Oh, that's good. So, a student can yeah. ask questions. Bangladesh can ask questions. language no problems. So, I'm the doctor when you Bangladeshi, when you just take away up another video, I can't answer the answer. Uh, yeah, so I think uh, still I didn't finish. Can I go further? Or yeah, sure, or sure. I'm okay. sorry for interrupting you. Oh, it's okay. Uh, if uh, Karoji did not push not a cap, not a jigs cook the baron, I'll be happy to more than happy to answer your question. Otherwise, I'll proceed with my uh, presentation. So here yeah. I would like to show you the black and white uh, our accreditation letter, which has been uh, uh, notarized by uh, the registrar from Bangladesh Medical and Dental Council and counterpart it is received by the uh, Minister, uh, Malaysian Medical Council head. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I would like to introduce our leader, uh, our honorable Dean, Professor, Dr. Major General uh, Dato Zinbidin, uh, who is also a founder dean for the Armed Forces Medical School in Malaysia. And I think most of the Bangladesh uh, citizens, they know any doctors, any professional from army, and if they rank with Major General post, they're really signifying their leadership quality, their integrity, their uh, you know, uh, overall check and balance with the process. So I think we are uh, in a very good hand with our uh, leadership and with his guidance and uh, advices, we are proceeding our everyday routine work. Okay, so I would like to give very brief uh, discussion about the entry requirement. Uh, overall, we need CGPA 3 uh, and the student must have biology, chemistry. Moreover, they may can have physics or mathematics, either one. But biology and chemistry is, I think, fundamental for us. Yeah. And uh, if you're choosing biology, chemistry, and physics, minimum, we can take all B or 1A, 1B, or 1C, either 2A and 1C. It is interesting to note that if somebody having 2C, although CGPA 3, they cannot be considered for the program. So although your CGPA is 3, but you should have at least 1C, 1B, and 1A or you may can have 3B. Uh, also, we uh, accept Australian matriculation program and any English English medium student, if you have done your IGCSER, also we're going to accept and consider you for our program. Now, let me give a uh, brief overview of our curriculum uh, because MBBS also in Bangladesh. If you ask me why you should consider Malaysia for pursuing your study is our syllabus, is our program structure. Uh, I think it's mandatory for Bangladesh Medical Council, your study program should be five years. And we actually still in Bangladesh, we don't practice outcome based education. It means you have a very fixed syllabus and you'll be assessed within this um, outcome based your uh, objectives. It is integrated. Integrated means we are not only giving you theoretical education, but also there will be hands on uh, uh, clinical orientation of your study. And there is another big differences. 
uh, we are not only giving knowledge. I think at this moment, the uh, old traditional curriculum of MBBS giving you knowledge and some practical skill. But also we are incorporating you here with the attitude and also with the inner you know, correlation of your each syllabus. Let me go through and explain to you why we are a spiral curriculum. It means each of your semester, semester one is interconnected with semester two, semester two is connected with semester three. Same way, the skill and knowledge you get, you have to carry over with year one until year five. So always there will be a continuation of syllabus uh, the way we are delivering to you. So how we ensuring our integrated spiral curriculum is reaching at you through our delivery method. So traditional MBBS curriculum, they mostly deliver your content with the interactive lecture and some practical. However, in the integrated curriculum, we going to serve you, we're going to uh, you know, the, uh, send the uh, education to you through teaching uh, team-based learning and problem-based learning. These two are very integral part of integrated curriculum. Also, we are uh, starting clinical teaching from year two, which we have the systemic block. And we also have uh, abundant uh, resources in e-learning, Moodle and Open Athens. Open Athens, you'll get most of the medical books, journals, everything is there for you. And these resources is applicable and usable not only by the uh, bachelor students, but also it can be used by the uh, postgraduate student as well. So MBBS uh, structure, we have five years program. So year one, we have two semester, year two, uh, same way we have 10 semester in five years. So each year there will be two semesters. This is the content we, uh, we hold, you know, we um, going to deliver you from year one and year two. So if there is any medical doctor parents or any of your senior siblings, the medical doctor, they'll be get to know how details we are go uh, going and uh, how slowly we are accelerating towards our first professional exam. And it is very interesting to note that even in year one, semester one, you will have early clinical and professional development. That's where the integrated uh, teaching and uh, your learning is coming. So semester one, semester two, three and four, these are the content integrated with the uh, early clinical and professional development. Year three and year four, you're going to start your major clinical posting and prerequisite for that, you have to qualify and clear your first professional exam. Then you're going to start your internal medicine, surgery, gynae, pediatrics, and some other subspecialist by year three and year four. By year five, you're going to finish second or third term of rotation in various clinical posting. And uh, you're going to sit for final professional exam, followed by you'll get provisional uh, certificate, you know, uh, certificate from Malaysian Medical Council. And any students from Bangladesh, if you have a provisional Malaysian Medical Council certificate, you are eligible for pursue your clinical study in Malaysian University in, uh, in government. Once you can finish your master's study in government uh, uh, Malaysian universities, uh, some of you in some discipline actually can be registered as a specialist in this country. And uh, you probably, most of you know, Malaysia medical professions still depending a lot to the expatriates and uh, expatriates doctors from very, very various country. So if you can uh, finish your study here, you'll have a good career prospect even in this country. So uh, to mapping, once you go back and you want to do your houseman, Bangladesh Medical Council will be asking your national credit hours and it should be 200 minimum credit hours because uh, in each year you should be able to finish 40 credits. So in five years time, we are actually giving you 206 credits. So there will be no problem with the Bangladesh Medical Council to accept and mapping your syllabus and degree you know, adjacent with the Bangladesh uh, Medical Council. Uh, another thing, uh, we, we are tied up with major uh, hospitals in the cities in Malaysia. So unlike other universities, they are sending their students outside the city. Uh, it's not within the capital of uh, Kuala Lumpur and uh, Putrajaya. So our students will be able to do perform their clinical rotation in hospital Kuala Lumpur, 
Putrajaya, Salam, and so on. I would like to emphasize our low density lecturer student ratio. Here we are maintaining 1 is 2, 4 is 2, 3, where the MMC guideline is it should be 1 is 2, 6. So we are much less dense, so there will be more uh, student uh, lecturer uh, engagement during the education. Same time, we also ensuring proper uh, student bed ratio. Uh, that is also implied on us by the Malaysian Medical Council. So saying so, I have uh, gone through my presentation and I would like to open the session for Q&A. Okay, Prof. Uh, yeah, there have uh, three students that asked the question, so I can pull it off. So you can, uh, yeah. you might see and go on it. So there have the students, yeah. Ashraful Alam. Ashraful yeah. Alam, what is the recon? I, I already un uh, given the answer. You need yes, uh, biology and chemistry. After that, you might have physics or mathematics, but don't forget your CGPA should be BBB or ABC or AA uh, uh, C. You cannot have three C's in those three subjects. So biology is mandatory, chemistry also mandatory. After that, you choose either uh, physics or mathematics. Uh, scholarship fees, I think uh, the second part of the uh, this conversation, I think our authorized um, people for talking about the fee is Mr. Siva and Mr. Nanda. Uh, I think we do provide scholarship. Uh, result based even during entry entrance also you'll get some scholarship okay but yeah brother uh, shiva and also brother nanda they are going to speak about the scholarship and the tuition fee so yeah wait financial issue uh, uh, wait for the video you can see every answer uh, i think you will get the answer all the so now um, like uh, uh prof i have a questions like uh, from my students uh, they are going to ask like what about the masters most of the students from bangladesh they do mbbs in bangladesh uh, then after that, they were willing to do masters in Malaysia because they have good opportunity. So can okay. you please? Uh, yeah, yeah. To give an uh, answer on that question, anybody want to pursue preclinical study uh, like anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, patho, micro, and pharmacology, and public health, there should not be any problem. Uh, moreover, no university, you know, public, they are not entitled to pursue any clinical degree. So if anybody asking you, they want to study for medicine, surgery, gynae, pediatrics, no, cannot. But if it is preclinical study, the discipline I have said, they are welcome to pursue uh, study with us. Okay, that's fantastic. So there have another student, he also asked about the University of Cyprus Japaria tuition fees. So I think this part will uh, going to answer whether... No, it, de yeah. it depends on the program because different courses have different tuition fees. So I would like to request uh, Abid Hassan Shaikat to specify he is querying for which course, because uh, not all course having the same tuition fee per year. Yeah. All right. So now uh, I would like to show the University of Cyberja the view of the campus. So I think the people also are willing to see how is the campus and uh, what they are talking about the, with the university. I didn't see what we are listening. So. We are sorry for that. We should start at the beginning. So now we are going to show University of Cyberjaya. Okay, so guys, you can see about the University of Cyberjaya. So this is uh, all about University of Cyberjaya, the videos and views. So if you have any question about the University of Cyberjaya, so you can ask below an icon and there have the comments box. So you can ask the question, either Bangla or English, no problems. Even you can ask in Hindi, we're going to answer the questions, no problems. 
and our uh, honorable guest is here. So now I would like to uh, talk about uh, masters or MBA or business related subject because uh, here is the head of the department of M uh, business. Uh, so I think uh, he is the dean of faculty of business. Yeah, dean of the faculty of the business, Prof. Arasan. Thank you, Dr. Jahid. Thank you, Mr. Sobos, and also Thank Siva you. is here today. Um, okay, so uh, I'd like to uh, explain of the two issues. One is the faculty of business and management, which is uh, a, a rather new faculty within the University of Sagajaya. And uh, we'd like to highlight the, the, the programs that we have, especially with a specific focus on the Master of Business Administration. We have a total of nine programs at the moment, uh, including a few degree programs as well as MBA, uh, three diploma programs and also a PhD program, PhD in management program. So uh, I'd like to zoom in into our Master of Business Administration program. So let me try to share the screen. Um, okay, let me, one second. Okay, there we go. Right, yeah. can all of you see this? Yes. Yeah, okay. yes, sir. Great. yes, sir. Okay, so what is it that we have? We have a Master of Business Administration, which is one of our pioneer program within the Faculty of Business and Technology. Uh, Faculty of Business and Technology is about three years old. Uh, it's quite new. However, we have uh, our uh, one of the, this, this is MBA is as, as our second biggest program at the moment meaning we have about 60 students uh, going through the program at the moment. Uh, so we have, what is it we are offering? We are offering an MBA uh, using a modular system, which, which means one month you will cover one subject. And for that particular purpose, for that one particular one month, you will have uh, the lecture series as well as the tutorial activities that will be covered within that one month period. So what, what it means is that you will be having about uh, six hours of uh, learning activities with your lecturer and everything will be covered within that uh, six hours. Apart from that, we will have this uh, activity called as asynchronized uh, online activities, which covers uh, additional uh, learning uh, using our Moodle system. You will have a, we have an online system called Moodle. Uh, so students will be encouraged to take part through various activities that our lecturers will uh, share using our Moodle system. Now, apart from the modular subject, uh, our strength of our MBA is it's only about seven weeks of classes. Now, the seven weeks of classes refers to the interaction, direct interaction with the lecturer. There's a balance of another seven weeks, which will be used completely for assignments, tutorial activities, uh, and also preparation for examination purpose. So any other projects that will be uh, involved across all different uh, subjects will be utilized for that seven weeks. So seven weeks filled with uh, uh, teaching lecture and the balance seven weeks covered with your activities to, to enhance your, you know, the theory, the integration of the theory to the practical component. Uh, we have a series of podcasts. Podcast refers to our uh, lecture series that will be uh, posted as a part of our podcast. We are now looking at uh, Spotify as our partner. By next week, we should have that. So you should be able to listen to our podcasts using Spotify. Uh, we have podcasts of our industry partners. We have several industry partners who uh, often share their knowledge as well as experience. And uh, they highlight uh, certain important issues that will be very much relevant for uh, MBA students. Because MBA, the mindset is you are uh, ready to embrace a higher job opportunity. So you need to have um, uh, pretty much knowledge from various perspectives. Um, we will have a series of video recordings that will be helpful for you to, to try to remember back the points that you, your lecture was, has, has covered with you in order to further strengthen your knowledge. And uh, 
our the beauty of our program is that how we have designed it is that our lecturers are all industry centric lecturers what does that mean we ensure that those who are teaching for mba level they must come from the industry they must have a minimum of 5 years of working in certain industries that is our primary focus so uh, for example just to give you a very simple example our subject call we have a subject call corporate finance corporate finance is actually covered by a real corporate finance consultant who is doing a fantastic job covering a lot of practical as well as the theoretical aspects uh we have uh, staffs lecturers who comes from the media industry uh, about 10 years of media industry staffs who worked in oil and gas industry so we we do our best to ensure it is all industry centric uh, knowledge sharing uh the other component is that is an 80 20 assessment model what does that mean it means that 80% of the assessment covers the something we call as continuous assessment which is assignments tutorial tasks quizzes um, any sort of tests that may come in so all those components covers 80% so for your exam it is only about 20% so you only focus a bit more lesser so what the aim is we want to give you guys uh, the opportunity to do a bit more practical aspects rather than um what we call a uh, more towards the theoretical so theoretical component covers only 20% of it and the last point there is the applied project so as as in any mba our mba also have a project um some call it mini project but we have a specific requirement which is every project that the student do must be an applied project rather than a completely academic project what does that mean we ensure that you get a business problem from a real company and you try to do or try to create a solution for that business so you will use all your theory all your knowledge all the concepts you have learned and try to help out that organization uh, to try to address the problem that they have highlighted uh just to cover a bit on the subjects we've got uh, five core subjects such as managing information systems marketing management research method which is a very crucial element because that will help when you do your applied project uh we have a new subject uh, all these are the new subjects that's coming in from june onwards we got a subject called transformation and leadership in the new age so as what all of us are experiencing transformation is a big agenda now with this covid-19 phenomenon uh and uh, this uh, transforming digital transformation is the major focus here the notion behind this subject is to sort of share knowledge with the students on how, how do you need across the uh, digital transformation process and what sort of uh, management skills do you need for that particular purpose we have a subject called magic managerial economics which is very important because it it allows you to embrace the notion of how do you uh, understand the demand and supply concept across different economic evolution especially in the context of uh, industry 4.0 today which is which has a different form of economic platform uh, we have uh, seven subjects under the specialization in elective component new venture planning new venture planning covers the area of entrepreneurship it's about if you wish to start a new business you wish to embrace a business what are the components what are the things elements you need to understand in order to do that uh things like uh, <coughs> feasibility studies business plan design uh market study marketing context everything is covered there so that it will be helpful when you uh try to embrace a new project a new business uh we've got corporate finance which is essential we have human resource management and also a few other subjects called data driven business which talks of uh, educates you about the importance of uh, big data in today's environment how data is is transforming the way business makes decision and how data is going to be super important in value creation so we are this is the current uh um requirements in most industries and we would like to share similar knowledge to the students uh we have another component here subject called data ethics and information management data ethics and information management 
looks into uh, the privacy of data, it looks into the privacy of information. Uh, it looks at how organizations should be managing uh, the notion of privacy. For example, uh, with uh, a lot of companies with COVID-19, they have a lot of application tra that uh, tracks where the patients are, where the potential patients are, and so on. So this tracking element uh, involves a bit on privacy, uh, information uh, privacy. So uh, the ethical way of managing information of someone else is uh, infused through this particular subject. Uh, E-commerce analytics is another important component uh, where we cover the issue of analy uh, analytics using um, uh, basic as well as advanced tools, but especially in regards to e-commerce. So e-commerce has a, is a big uh, business venture today, uh, as all of us know. So we want to cover that e-commerce element by and also the importance of understanding the analytics behind it. And the last subject there is called the digital business model. So this basically infused the knowledge of um, undertaking business in the digital arena. What sort of uh, startups that we are looking at? What sort of uh, business models is it B2C, B2B, and so on? So all this will be uh, taught throughout the, uh, the whole course. Uh, this will be added with another research project, as I mentioned earlier, applied project. So the what happens is this whole uh, uh, seven and Seven, five, twelve. We have a total of thirteen modules, which includes the research project, and all these thirteen modules covers a total of 43, 43 credits. And uh, so, one month you will be studying one subject. So, as you can calculate, you will you probably you will be finishing the entire twelve subjects and sole subjects in twelve months. So, the balance of three months will be given for you to undertake the applied project. This for this particular portion. So while the program is a two years program, so we give a maximum of two years for you to, in the event of there's any deferment or anything, but ideally a student should be able to complete the program in one year and three months. So that is our target at the moment. Uh, just to identify some of our applied partners who, are, who works with us for the applied project, as well as some of the, some of the lecturers, um, sorry, some of the, uh, our industry partners who comes in to deliver seminar series to us. <coughs> we have uh, partners from Google Malaysia, Lazada, Jobstreet, and also the something called, this is a government aid related agency for Malaysian Digital Economic Corridor, MPEC. Uh, so why I'm trying to highlight this is because I'm saying that we, our MBA is heading towards the new direction of the economy. As all of us know, the new direction is towards a bit more on the digital component. So whichever projects we, we, we take in, we try to infuse both the conventional business as well as the digital business component so that when you finish, by the time you finish, you are ready to embrace any sort of digital elements that comes to your part. Yeah. So that would be our a brief introduction about our MBA program. So. Uh, be happy to accept any questions if you may have. Thank you. Uh, thank you for for your uh, valuable discussion. So, the students, yeah, there have a number of students from Bangladesh uh, like to join in MBA. So that's why it, this is very yeah. important for students. Uh, they should uh, like uh, for see the video, then they will know actually yes. what are the trying to teach and everything about the University of Cyber J and why they joined the University of Cyber J MBA. That's so right. that is, thank you very much for your kind sure. discussion. And uh, now, uh, 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 Dr. Jahedur Rahman, he is going to show the approval of a uh, BMDC, I think. So, so guys, you can see. So, could you please share? Yeah. I think last time uh, when I was presenting, the PowerPoint was not shown there. Yeah, yeah, the, 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 there are some uh, errors, so sorry. Can you, can you see my slides now? Yeah, but I see. Could you please oh. open? So it can be seen, right? 
the yeah, slide yeah. is not visible, doctor. Only thing the file is only visible. Only the computer screen. Sorry, only my computer screen. It's only the computer screen can be seen. We never face this problem. Okay, now mm, it's not coming yet. Not yet. Not yet. Share screen. Uh, okay. Is it okay uh, if? Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. think we have the noise problem as well. So I think we can share with you the slides, no problem. I already verbally did mention we have the approval letter from Bangladesh Medical. Yeah, yeah. I also saw last time. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll pass to you personally. I don't know what happening. Technical I'll matter. Yeah. So no worries, now, Doctor. No worries. We can show we can share it to Mr. Sobos. He can he can uh, he can he can uh, he can use it for to, to, to share with the students. What is all right, all right. Whoever uh, yeah. would like to see the approval, so they can see they cannot talk us, they can text us, so we can share. Yeah, yeah. So now I would like to talk uh, uh, about the uh, brother Shiva. He's going to uh, discuss about the university and the tuition fees. Hello, everyone. Hello, students. Very happy to have this session today. Okay, it's a Friday, so wish everyone a happy uh, Ramadan Kareem. Okay, for all the Bangladeshi students. Okay, so let us uh, go through. Okay, University of Cyber Jaya. When you can see this university, it is located in the place called Cyber Jaya. Okay, what is Cyber Jaya and why University of Cyber Jaya? When you see Cyber Jaya is actually is a IT city of Malaysia. Okay, resembling of Silicon Valley in US. So in Malaysia we call it Cyber Jaya. And which is actually in the middle of the main airport, Kuala Lumpur uh, International Airport, and between the city. So 30 minutes from the campus is airport, and 30 minutes from the campus is the city, Kuala Lumpur City Center. So we are in the middle. So it is a very uh, student-friendly environment. There's a lot of universities are nearby. You can see a lot of students' environment are there. So the living cost is quite affordable for the students to stay in Cyber Jaya. And they can meet a lot of students from, from the same country and other countries in this area vicinity. So, in that terms, the safety and security of students also is quite well secured because of the location and the student population is there. So everyone knows each other very well. Okay, so let me show uh, about the, our poster first. Okay, so hope everyone can see this. Hostel. I can see your screen. My screen not visible? Not visible Some, yet. Something happening with this Zoom today. Okay, no problem. Now we can visit. Yeah, yeah now. Okay, everyone is still right. Yeah. Yes, yes, that's this what is yeah. the student hostel, okay? Our student accommodation. Okay, so you can see oh, the. You can see it's so nice to take. The beautiful city of Siberia, we have a lake, okay, shopping center, okay. This is the night view. The other facilities which is available nearby to our hostel. Okay, this is a hostel. You can see the hostel, we have a single bed, okay. What what the student will get? Each of the student has their own single bed with mattress, okay, with they have their own personal wardrobe, individual bookshelf, okay, shower heater in the bathroom and toilet, the dining table in the common area. Uh, and refrigerator. Okay, we have uh, each student apartment comes with the kitchen. So student is able to cook. I'll show you the pictures. You can check here. Okay. So this is the fee. Okay, this is the charges for the rooms. You can see this charges uh, made in Malaysian currency, and we have a uh, different types of the room. When students asking, we want to know what what is the charges. So it depends on the students on what kind of room they're going to choose. If they're going to choose with the, all the rooms are air conditioned, okay, we can see the type of the room. If you don't understand how it does it looks, okay, I can bring it more down, okay, to show you the actual picture of the room. Okay, this is the actual picture of the room. It's uh, room number one. How the, it's a bit spacious, okay. You can see the place space spacious. Room number two, just nice for two person to stay, okay. And room number three, so stay similar like room number two. And kitchen, 
Okay, so you can see fridge and then uh, microwave is there, so you're able to cook. Okay, so if you really miss your Bangladesh food, you can come back and cook here as well. <laughs> yeah, this is nice. This is nice for the students who would like to stay in the hostel. And how far yeah. the hostel from the university? Could you please tell the students? Because the students want to know, oh, how are we going to go? Okay, I show the map. Okay, it's actually walking distance. In actual, it's walking distance, but we provide the shuttle service also for students. Okay, for them to go from the if it's rain or anything, they can from the hostel to the campus. Just they can go by walking or they can take our shuttle service. So this is uh, how the city looks like. You can see a lot of uh, amenities available nearby. Okay, okay. it's a very beautiful city as well. Okay, this is all about the hostel. So if you have any questions, please type. Okay, I'm able to answer you. Okay, let's so, go. So, uh, brother, if the students they are, they would not like to stay in hostel, so they can stay outside of the hostel, like other condominium or hostel. I mean, house. Yeah, of course, can. Yeah, we, can. we allow that. No issues. Okay, that's good. That's fantastic. Because some of the university they forced like to stay six months for the university hostel, and then they can join to our stay their friends. But oh, for okay. university of Cyber Jaya, Students are free, they can join and they can stay outside also when they join. It's not like you have to stay six months in the hotel. Yes, so this is right. very good opportunity for you guys. Yeah, but so the best thing is you can get in hotel, so you can ask. Yes, but you can see what I'm showing you is the actual pictures of the hostel. Yeah. It is the actual pictures. So this is a student going to stay in this kind of environment. So my personal suggestion, okay, students want to go stay outside. First of all, at least for the first uh, two or three months, come stay in hostel, learn the environment first. Okay, where is the place you go? Okay, how is the transportation mode? Okay, if they stay outside, which is very far, they need to have a, uh, prepare their own transportation as well. So if they stay with the hostel, it will be much nearer for them and safe, safer for them. Okay, uh, otherwise. So don't you have any friends who are the studying in Malaysia, studying in South Asia, they want to stay with them, of course can. We allow that. Okay. So I'd like to now thank you very much, uh, Brother Shiva, for your agreeable discussion for accommodation. So now I'd like to uh, invite uh, Brother Nanda to talk about the tuition fees and the scholarship for the students. So the, this is the main, yeah. I think, main students <laughs> I would like to know from you. <laughs> Okay. Hello. Hi, everyone. Uh, okay. Um, let me emphasize more into our programs uh, and the uh, tuition fees. Right. Basically, we have a scholarship. Um, uh, let me tell you, we have a scholarship up to 60% to grab. Okay. It depends on the program, which the program the students is uh, looking for. Basically, we have uh, three three university programs, that is foundation program. We have foundation in science, we have, uh, which is leading to medicine and uh, pharmacy. We have foundation in allied science, and we have foundation in uh, arts, and we have six diploma program. We have uh, eight bachelor's program and 30, 13, one, three, 13 uh, postgraduate programs. Okay, basically, students from Bangladesh always uh, we, we have a program which can cater them, okay? We, we, we always have an inquiry from Bangladesh for BBA, basically for BBA, MBA, and a foundation in science leading to medicine, and mostly into postgraduate programs such as uh, Masters in Medical Science by Research, and more importantly, uh, we have a lot of inquiries from Bangladesh for Masters of uh, Masters in uh, Public Health. Okay, we, yeah, we this is our uh -huh. we have we have this program, uh, especially for Masters in Public Health one year program, which comes out with thirty percent scholarship. Okay, from the total tuition fees. All right. If if you guys have any 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 inquiries regarding the the programs and uh, fee structures, you can always uh, refer to Mr. Sobos. He has our fee structures and everything because each program has its own fees and then it has its own uh, scholarships. Okay, from 15%, from 15% up to 60% scholarship we provide for each program. Okay, uh, 
based on the uh, entry requirement from the students you will be able to get this scholarship so any 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 uh, information you want to know about uh, more details about the fee structures always feel free to call mr subhus and uh, check with him he has our every details with the scholarship and uh, fee structures all right and you also can uh, chat with us uh, you can you can contact subhus and get our our our, con our contacts and then you can chat with us no issue anytime we are willing to advise you guys in uh, in every details okay thank you brother uh, for your kind discussion so uh, there have uh, I, I yesterday i do survey about the university of cyberjaya uh, in uh, in a group so there have most of the students they would like to know about mba program i don't know this is i MBA. think uh, best yeah the second thing is they would yes. like to know about the scholarship and third is okay uh, for yes and the fourth is they want to they would like to know about the masters of public health and the finally they i i put like others so there have one student they would like to know about others so uh, my question is could you please tell me uh, i mean tell to the students what is the best subject a student would like to join in university of cyberjaya all the subjects are best man <laughs> <laughs> no but because but sometimes the university oh this is we are main focusing so so uh, like uh, a student would like to know like who is number of i mean program the number of high bangladeshi student joining the, uh, the high <laughs> number of uh, program uh, which bangladesh students joining us is move into bba mba mba program a lot of bangladesh students okay yeah. i'm want to emphasize into mba because mba i'm going to tell you guys all right we have a 40 45% uh, scholarship for mba right uh, yeah, if you sure. see after the scholarship after the scholarship yeah 45% scholarship after the scholarship all in all in for one and a half years mba program it's only going to cost you 22200 this is inclusive of the visa application fee international student uh, sorry visa application fees registration fees and the tuition fees for one and a half years entire program will cater you with 22200 bro wow, what is, is the really what is the what is the payment if we, if we convert this into dhaka how much is it 22200 oh it's around uh, 4.5 lakh dhaka in two years 4.5 so lakh dhaka this is entirely all in I mean, all in all in this is the most reasonable tuition fees for mpa rather than any other university and already prof yes. uh, discussed about the university like how is the uh, the program and, and um, the value of the program so i think you don't have to worry okay you are getting like very good scholarship it's not for the good scholarship because the university yes. will to willing to join your their university they are giving chance to students or oh, we want very good postgraduate students so when you join you will feel how yes. they are good and also the, uh, recently they yes. got yeah already uh, dr jahed describe like they already got the the world ranking they are now in qs world ranking 601 so this is very good yes. opportunity so you can show like there have a, like usa you can get more than 5000 university uk there have more than 4000 university so the malaysian university they are they are in the good ranking even i could say like there are many countries that doesn't doesn't have like good ranking so you don't have to worry about the certificate also you can use anywhere in the world. So yes. Th there have uh, any uh, another thing is like uh, which program students uh, like get most scholarship like for MBBS for other program. Is yes. uh, MBA. MBA got you highest you priority you? by University of Sabajaya. Oh, uh, this is I think this is for other prof. He's uh, like giving consideration. Okay, my student, I want to. A lot of tuition fees and I'm giving a good opportunity, I think. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So about the uh, transportation and the application, uh, brother uh, uh, Nanda, could you please uh, tell the student what are the requirement documents they need for the application? And uh, the first time, uh, how many to pay regarding this? Okay. Uh, application for application process is very simple. If let's say they are they are applying for their 
uh, undergraduate program that is uh, bachelor's program we need the uh, uh, high school certificate and uh, uh-huh. high school mark sheet and high school certificate with the uh, passport data pages okay we need this and then uh, basically for which program uh, they have to select the program if it is ex- uh, example they are applying for bachelor's of business administration bba then we we need the uh, high school certificate the high school mark sheet for them for, for us to verify uh, on the eligibility okay if let's say they are applying for a post graduate program okay for an example they are applying for mba what we need is we need their bachelor's degree their bachelor's degree uh, their bachelor's uh, completion certificate and their bachelor's uh, transcript and their high school certificate will do for us to verify on their eligibility this is a simple thing okay as uh, okay. automatically once the students is eligible they meet the entry requirement we will give them the eligibility letter then uh, they are all uh, they they, they uh, almost uh, uh, they they will get the, the scholarship automatically the scholarship is based on the entry requirement if they if okay. they meet the entry requirement automatically they will get a scholarship most important thing is most important thing is ielts like those students which is coming from uh, you know uh, the background okay let's say the, the high school is fully is, uh, in uh, in bangla medium not in, in english medium okay yeah, yeah they need to have ielts if let's say they they done their bachelor's degree in english medium when they are applying for their post graduate they don't we don't ask them for the ielts we only ask them for the english uh, 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 medium of instruction letter from the university okay uh, brother like uh, the students like who i would like to join in the bachelor program they because in bangladesh most of the school are in bangla medium so or uh, do uh, yeah. do they join uh, in uh, malaysia like your university they, they, they have another option like english program they can join then they can sit for ielts in malaysia yeah we have our our ipp program we, we call it ipp uh, where they have to join the ipp before before they join the ipp we will, we will give them a placement test based on the okay. placement test they will go into the level of uh, english we have four level level 1 level 2 level 3 level 4 so based on the placement test they will be uh, sit for the uh, english level once they finish the english level then when they obtain the ielts uh, the required ielts then after that they can go for the main program okay thank you very much for uh, the your, your, your important this, uh, discussion so like uh, for this now in the current situation uh, the pandemic covid 19 so could you please tell the students what are the procedure currently now so if anyone now want to apply so what is their procedure like okay. uh, the flight is off uh currently okay we uh, everywhere uh, the, the corona uh, covid 19 is everywhere so even even in malaysia we are still under the mco women control order uh until until the 12th of may and after the 12th of may we 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 wouldn't know yet we haven't know yet that uh, whether the travel ban is lifted or not okay and until then what we have planned is the students still can apply students still can submit their application we will do their applications okay until until the the, the travel ban is lifted and students can travel here once their wall is approved they can do e registration they have to make the payments everything done once they been settled with the payments and everything they can do e registration and join our e learning program this is oh, this is uh, this is for a, for a time being until further notice uh, until they can travel until the travel ban is lifted where they can travel here until then they can do e registration and start classes by e learning for time being okay thank you very much for your kind explanation for the admission and uh, online program procedure regarding the convict 19 so i have a question regarding now for the mbbs program so uh, for the doctor uh, jahed so 
the students i think they have internship who are joining in uh, mbbs program so regarding in uh, internship the university will help them or the student find their own way to go for internship i think uh, every mbbs program when they return back uh, they have to apply to bangladesh medical and dental council and as degrees approved by the bangladesh medical and dental council there should not be any issue and i think i don't know what uh, where is the technical error because from here my screen is sharing i can show you the bmdc uh, clearly what they have written okay okay can you show me now because i, I can show it i think so i i saw your screen but you have to like make it a bigger <coughs> yeah, I think can you I see, see my screen now yeah i can see okay one second this is a black So your interested student will be no clearly. Can you see my PowerPoint? No, nothing. On the so that is the problem happening today. I don't know why. Because I open already my PowerPoint. Yeah, we are sorry for the like technical errors. Yeah, so. Why don't you send email the PowerPoint? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have to do that. Let me try. Let me try and see. Let me try this and see. Okay. Yes. Can you share me the email ID? I can send that. Or I think marketing team they have the letter. Yeah, yeah. Let me try. I already passed to marketing team. So because of the students uh, now uh, the HSC exam will be held in on uh, like uh, they did not give any decision. I think maybe September or October. So after that, the student willing to join MBBS. The most of the students yeah. like like to join engineering and medical. The first concern is medical. And now for the current convict 19 situation, most yeah. of the students prefer like medical doctor. So this is the okay, certificate so of BMDC. They clearly stated about the University of Cyber Jaya. And uh, they are like recognized. It's not like um, uh, many university in other countries, they are not recognized for this letter from BMDC. So you don't have to be worried to study in MBBS or MBA in University of Cyber Jaya or any program because they are now in all ranking university yes so that is very good opportunity so uh, uh, in the, i think uh, they have uh, last on students asked about the questions like what about the job placement the students they study here like either mba or bba or like uh, medical so after that what is their opportunity to getting job because everyone who are studying their concern is final to like final destination is to get job or something like that to do business so uh, are you asking uh, about this uh, about the medical programs or non-medical uh, for overall any program so how how about the job placement from who are okay, graduated uh, from i would like to say in a summarized way about the medical program I think in Malaysia till today, 40% specialist uh, still foreigners. So Malaysia will be more than happy if they can recruit, graduate from, you know, studied in Malaysia itself. But there are some pathways. They have to finish the MBBS, they have to complete the housemanship, and they have to do their clinical study, any of the Malaysian yes. government universities. If they finish their study like medicine, surgery, gynae, pediatrics, and all that, I believe it will take lesser time compared to Bangladesh to complete the masters. Once they can finish masters here, they'll be recognized as the specialist in this country. And Malaysia lacking specialist uh, severely, uh, even during COVID time also you saw. So there is no shortcut. They have to complete the phases of study, MBBS, housemanship, and also masters. After that, a lot of opportunities are there. And uh, I would like to say not only in Malaysia, uh, Malaysian degrees are very well accepted in Middle Eastern countries. So the all Middle yes. Eastern, uh, you know, in Malaysia, there is a lot we of can Arab. See that, like many Arabian countries, students yes, are, uh, studying, are studying in Malaysia. in Malaysia. So why we have to focus only in job market of Malaysia? The whole Middle yeah. East also going to be open for them. Maldives, Maldives, many students are coming here. So they are studying there. China. So it's not only yeah, the China one particular is, uh, job think, market. Uh, one of the uh, largest number of Chinese students, they are studying currently now in Malaysia. Yes. I think looking at the environment, the tuition fees, and the... And, like, uh, the yeah, I'm from medical field. Uh, West Indies also recruiting a lot of foreign doctors. 
you know oh that's so that's great. opportunities are there so many doctors from bangladesh from india they are working in uh, west indian country and also fiji ghana all those country also taking uh, medical doctors maldiv taking medical doctors so i think students don't have to be worried so once they graduate they have a lot of pathway to get a job and good opportunity over all the world so like yes. uh, this is like uh, i think this is very good uh, discussion with uh, uh, actually uh, what i can i can tell you is uh, looking yeah. at malaysians uh, malaysia's growth in this southeast asia is becoming uh, very huge okay for example why malaysia okay and why uh, this university right so malaysia because of a uh, lot of countries are coming and investing in malaysia you can see a lot of investments comes uh, through because this i'm talking about generally not only medicine for other products as well you can see a lot of investment from the japan china okay and then we have the us german companies come investing in malaysia so this because is actually because i think one of the best thing is uh, malaysia is secure country no yeah. like uh, no earthquake there are yeah. there are a lot of facilities and also a lot of opportunities environment is very friendly now we can see in the current situation of covid 19 malaysia recovered like 74% and But they yes. are yes death rate is low lowest in the world 0.3% which is yeah, far yeah. better than all european country usa What? many What country i am also surprised <laughs> yeah so this is like they are doing very good even like yeah. you are talking about cyber jaya uh till now i hear only one person affected in corona virus in cyber jaya the whole area i think there have more than 10000 students like uh, around this area so yes. i think it's very good opportunity for the students not for now in the future also you will yes. get the good environment good university good certificate so what you do one good job you will get it anywhere in the world so i think uh, this is very good discussion and student i think got their all answers and ideas So if you have guys any questions, so uh, you can ask. Uh, there have the uh, uh, our Facebook uh, pages is NSS Solution, and also you can uh, call us. There have our contact number, and we will give you introduce with the university. So you will get like whatever you want, you will get. And we are offering free of your ticket for all students who would like to join in University of Cyberjul. And the scholarship is there, so you will get the scholarship also. So what else do you need? Yes. then all students will go to the program that's what <laughs> yeah. i wanted to emphasize them so they okay. will join the mbbs i think so also so they will get good opportunity so i think uh, this is very good things for the students even uh, uh, some price yeah. also uh, so we thank have collaboration with the, some of the government university in malaysia for sending our students for their uh, research program so uh, within a budget Uh, we really provide good molecular biology public health and basic science education for masters so kindly don't only send student for mba send for masters uh, you know mba uh, medical students also yeah i think i uh, i get five students that they are talking with me some other universities from bangladesh so so thank you also we'll get soon <laughs> they already talk uh, i'm just writing for their documents inshallah okay thank you thank you very much for everyone for your like important times and discussion i think hope students uh, satisfied and understand if you have guys any questions you can ask feel free anytime thank you very much thank yeah you. thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you.